Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to video four. What is the editor utility widget? Get all level components nodes. So we're going to go ahead and look at this example. So here's the level components widget when we open it up. And here's the node itself. Now do note this node requires the editor scripting's utility plugin to be enabled. It's not like the get selected level actors or get all level actors where we get actors, but we're going to get the components that make up our actors inside of our level. So if we were to run this and it's docked and hit run, you'll notice we get back a list of all of our components. But you will notice there's some weirdness in here. We have these line batch components with none as the actor. And there's also things like a default physics volume. Now, if we go to view options, show actor components, we can see all the components. And the components are what make up our actors themselves. Like our player start has an arrow, a billboard, a billboard, and a capsule component. And floors are made of stack mesh components. But what explains the other weird ones? Well, let's do new level, empty level. And now here's a blank level without anything in it. If we undo this, you'll see it's just our blank world. But when we run this, you'll notice we have all those things again. These are all parts of our blank default world that are hiding in the background. They make up things that we can still see. So we have like our nav, nav data and our physics volume. We have a brush that makes up something here in our world. And then a couple line batch components, which I'm guessing make up maybe these things here. I don't know. But keep that in mind. When you do the get all level actors components node, you are not going to get back only what you see. You will get back all of these as of now, as of Unreal Engine 4.22, because these are part of your default level, even though you can't see them and they are hidden. So keep that in mind. If you're getting back different results, you might need to filter those out. Now, once you do run it, though, you're going to get back an array of all the actor components. If we were to debug this, you can see here's a list of all the actor components that it finds inside of our world, and it returns it back, and we can do whatever we want with. Maybe you have some special actors in there, components. Maybe you made a component called, like, tree generator or random or something. You could easily grab all of those and randomly generate them or do some math on them or talk to them inside of your editor, all at once rather than maybe having to select them individually. So if you want to work with components themselves, this is how you can work with the components rather than just the actors inside of your level using the utility widgets scripting system.